Hello everyone, welcome to our first card spotlight for Hearthstone. If you have not seen this series before, we like to take a look at the lore of a card and the impact it has had on the metagame. Enjoy! Not all who wander are lost. Velen has been the leader of the Draenei people since their flight from Argus 25,000 years before the first orcish invasion of Azeroth. As his title entails, aided by the light, he was granted the gift of prophecy. Velen's visions revealed that the Eridar will be transformed into demonic beings, and so to avoid this tragedy, he guided his people as they fled from, and later fought against the Burning Legion, who had ensnared their Eridar brethren. Kure Anaru helped his people travel far distances by providing them with a ship. Kil'jaeden, Velen's nemesis and former close friend, followed the Draenei wherever they went to once and for all finish them off with the help of Sargeras and the Burning Legion. They played the game of cat and mouse for a long while, spending some time in Draenor but ultimately being chased away by the First Horde and then once again from Tempest Keep by the Blood Elves led by Kael'thas. What followed some time after were the events of Burning Crusade. Serving Kil'jaeden, Kael'thas sends his new troops, the Fell Blood, to attack his own home, Silvermoon City. Lady Leodrin and the Blood Elves who used the power of the light selfishly were helpless. So she traveled to Shatrath City to visit the Naru Adal and begged him for forgiveness for what they have done, and aid in the war. The Draenei and the Blood Elves banded together and defeated Kael'thas to stop the summoning of Kil'jaeden. Following Kil'jaeden's defeat at the Sunwell, Velen restores the Sunwell to its former glory. After the events of Velen's prophecy about the Burning Crusade had passed, he receives a new vision about a great war between the darkness and the light that is fast approaching, and that Azeroth will be its principal battleground. This leads to Velen taking Anduin under his wing to teach him the way of the light. As he trains him, he receives another vision about Anduin leading the army of the light not as a prince, but an armored warrior. This army of the light would not only contain the Alliance and Horde, but also dragons and the Naru too. Anduin, our beloved priest, following in the footsteps of his father, has now become a warrior king. We have seen warrior Anduin, or as people lovingly call him, Manduin, in the cinematics. And now the dream is to see him in Hearthstone as either a warrior card or a warrior hero. Velen, as of today, continues to lead the Draenei people from his new refuge in the Vault of Lights, deep inside the largest intact portion of the crashed Exodar, which now serves as the Draenei capital in Azeroth. In Hearthstone, Prophet Velen is a legendary priest minion card from the classic set. He is a 7 mana 7 7 minion that reads double the damage and healing of your spells and hero powers. Originally in the game's alpha, Velen used to be a 5 7 minion with the card text Battle Cry, draw a card for each undamaged character. However, Velen's current ability is very unique, and looking at how it is doing right now, I wouldn't have it any other way. Once the game officially launched, Prophet Velen remained unplayable for a long time, seemingly a meme card that was too gimmicky to be seen in a tier 1 deck, but it got its time in the spotlight eventually. Raza Priest is an archetype that originally began as a control deck, focusing on getting value out of your low-costed hero powers and closing out with some bombs. When Knights of the Frozen Throne was released, bringing with it Shadow Reaper Anduin, and once Druid was nerfed, people began to realize that the combination of both Raza and Shadow Reaper Anduin was busted. It was time for Raza Priest to wreak havoc. The deck slowly removed its control tools and added a bunch of card draw and combo. Cards like Gadget Sand Auctioneer was also added to cycle through the deck quickly. It was at this point that Prophet Velen was also added to the deck. No one saw it coming, but boy did it make a splash. Velen's ability to double a hero power that could be refreshed time and time again made him an irreplaceable card in the deck. With the minimum combo of Velen, Radiant Elemental, Holy Smite, and Mind Blast, you did 32 damage. But if you managed to add more 0 or 1 mana spells to the mix, you could rack up a lot more damage to combat armor gaining. Hunter Ace was one of the first to capitalize on this, and hit rank 1 legend with it in September of 2017, introducing the world to the Norwegian Raza Priest God who eventually became the highest point earner in the world. When a deck hits high legend this consistently and easily, people begin to notice. This led Raza Priest to quickly climb to the top of the meta. Priest had been an underdog class for a while, so it was nice to see it rise again. Raza Priest continued to dominate the meta even after the release of Kobolds and Catacombs, and in fact, it became even more powerful with the addition of probably one of the strongest removal tools in the game, Psychic Scream. This deck had so much of an impact that Team 5 finally decided that it was time to put it to rest. On February 6, 2018, Raza the Chained was changed so that it reduced your hero power to a cost of 1 instead of 0. This meant that you couldn't do the one turn kill combo with Velen anymore, ending the era of Raza Priest but not the era of our favorite Draenei. Velen made a comeback in yet another combo deck famously known as Clone Priest, named after the legendary spell Xerix Cloning Gallery. Cloning Gallery flew under the radar until Complexity's Asmodei hit rank 1 Legend on stream in September 2018. His deck showed a lot of innovation, and reminded people of the big priest that could burst your opponent down. Dismissed initially as just another joke deck, it eventually proved its competitive viability. Clone Priest revolves around the Velen and Malagos interaction. Velen's doubling ability always triggers after the spell damage buff no matter what order the minions were summoned or played. 
This means that cards like Holy Smite get the plus 5 damage buff from Malagos first, and then get double to reach a total of 14 after the Velen buff. The combo usually pushes upwards of 34 damage depending on how many Radiant Elementals, Mind Blasts, and Holy Smites you have access to. Since the deck has Colony Gallery, 2 Lesser Diamond Spellstones, and 2 Shadow Visions to discover even more Spellstones, the deck does not have any trouble pulling off this combo consistently. This deck created some ridiculous stream moments and is really fun to play. It is a very flexible anti-control deck that can either fight for value or combo you from nowhere. You will definitely be seeing a lot of it in the Hearthstone Winter Championships. So get ready for some clone, I mean clown fiesta. We recommend giving this deck a try before this deck rotates out and a new year of Hearthstone starts. Velen himself belongs to the classic set, so it's not going anywhere soon. Time will tell how the next rotation will affect the playability of Velen, but we are hopeful that he will still be good in 2019. Let us know if you enjoyed this video and what topics you would like us to cover. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.